Let's shift our focus now to more that we have to tell you here on Mirror Now. As India's digital revolution accelerates, so does the issue of electronic waste. But where does all the e-waste go? My colleague Kritika Tiwari explores how efforts in Delhi NCR aims to tackle this growing problem and why more needs to be done. Take a look. India's booming middle class and digital revolution mean we're all buying more tech than ever. But here's the thing. More gadgets also mean more electronic waste. Think about it. What do you do when your earphones suddenly stop working? A charging cable that gives up? Or with your old phone that simply isn't good enough anymore? Do you repair them? Pass it on? Store it in your home or simply trash it like any other household waste? A lot of the e-waste uh, that you see here comes from robotics labs, comes from old devices that I've owned and uh, uh, a lot of these components, they come from um, hackathons that I attended as a college student or uh, just independent projects that I was working on at some point, uh, which worked out, didn't work out, but I just kept the parts around just in case, oh, I'll uh, thinking that I'll recycle a particular thing for any particular project and they may have happened or not have happened. When recycled systematically, valuable materials like copper, platinum and even gold can be extracted. But e-waste is also full of toxic chemicals like lead, arsenic and mercury. When disposed in the open, this toxic waste pollutes our environment and poses several health risks. As per the United Nations e-waste monitor report, India is the third largest e-waste producer globally. The situation is made worse by the fact that over 90% of this waste is still handled in the informal sector. When disposed in the open, this toxic waste pollutes our environment and poses several health risks. To find a fix to this problem, the Noida Authority had installed e-waste bins across the city a few years ago. But these bins are being used for anything but that. As per the officials, the lack of response from residents was attributed to the cash value that people can get by selling electronic waste in scrap. The MCD has also started doorstep collection drives in a few colonies. In South Delhi's Saket, the RWA runs a reduce, reuse and recycle centre. A collection drive is conducted every 15 days. Old electronic items that can be reused are donated and defunct tech is sent to a registered recycling partner. I am really driven to be giving electronic waste somewhere, but I don't know where it should go. Who is the right person? How should it be picked up? I'm working, I, I have a nine to six job. I cannot afford to go and drop it to some other center here and there, but I genuinely want to do that. So how do we as RWS, we as NGOs, we as MCD partners make it convenient also, providing them those solutions which actually drive people to do this? Earlier, uh, these uh, tube lights and uh, bulbs and all were, used to be thrown out in the garbage. So now we give out a list of things which we can collect as e-waste and uh, instead of throwing it in the dustbin or garbage, they give it out to us. While such MCD collection drives have helped in diverting tech trash from reaching landfills in some areas, this policy is yet to be applied uniformly across Delhi NCR. The best solution to all our electronic waste problems is to make sure that we don't generate any in the first place. Now that would mean fighting for more reforms in the sector of repairs, making sure that we use our devices till the end of their time and definitely reaching out to the right recycling solutions providers. With camera person Abhishek Mathur, this is Kritika Tiwari for Mirror Now.